Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. And what you are about to witness is what happens when you sit down to shoot whiskey review video. And the whiskey you are going to review turns out to be a stinker. A dud. Something you don't like at all. You finish shooting the video and you are like, well, pretty unsatisfied. Pretty unsatisfied. So tonight, I'm turning the frown upside down. And I'm gonna find out what my favorite Van Friggen Winkle product is. I went to a liquor store. Went down to the corner store. ka Kicked down the door. Kicked it right down. Walked in with my, my pappy face on. That's my pappy hunting face. It's wearing wearing the Bring Me to Pappy t-shirt. Available on my Teespring, I'll link in the description below. And I said, where's Cody? The liquor store manager says, sir, you didn't have to kick down the door like that. It was a screen door and it was already open. I said, the only thing that's gonna be screened around here is your bullshit and your lies. Because I'm on to you and I know that you've got all the pappies. Now bring him to daddy before daddy gets upset that daddy don't have the pappy. Manager yells to the back, Cody! Cody comes running out, sees me, turns around, oh! runs back in the back room, locks the door. Simply safe alarm, beep boop, beep boop beep, calls the police and says, guess what? The pappy man is back. And you know what the police told him? Bring him to Pappy. That's actually not what happened. What happened was Dan and Julie like sent me samples of all the Pappies. Got four glasses. Got Old Rip 12, got Pappy 15, Pappy 20, and Pappy 23. You're gonna watch me get Pappy happy right now. So if you don't wanna see that, then hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, leave a comment below and leave. All right, first glass. Ooh, that's a sweet oak. That's a sweet oak bomb. Good gravy. Unreal. Mm. Mm. Cherry vanilla oak cola. Cherry vanilla oak cola. So good. Seems pretty low proof. Coat of the mouth pretty well. The nose is just a, a sweet cherry oak bomb. Oh, from friggin' Buffalo Trace Distillery. Okay, first glass is phenomenal. Second glass. Whew, this one <laughs> seems to be even oakier yet. A little bit of must on this one, but I must admit, I kinda like it, kinda friggin' dig it. Kind of friggin' dig it. The tree, you really start to smell the tree is what's happening here. You can say oak all you want. Sometimes you smell something so oaky that you just picture a friggin' tree in your head. And you can get your hand like right into the bark and it's just a deep groovy barked out some of just a, I, I smell this and I just picture my face against a tree. Like this. Just like this. Just like I'm staring at a tree. Nose to nose. Nose to trunk. With a tree. That's a sw That, wow. That is an oak machine. Unreal. It dried me out a little bit. But it was like I... It's like I went slip and sliding, face first, down an oak cherry tree with my mouth open and barely, barely any lubrication device, just all the way down it. Just filling up my mouth with oak. And friction, very good, very pleasing. Quite like it, quite enjoy it. Please, sir, can I have some more? Oh, please, sir, can I have some more? Mm. 
Oh, that's some good water. It's high quality water. Third glass. Wow. Wow. Dense, foresty. It's like a cherry orchard. A cherry orchard after the rain. With moss and nature, and it's just good. It's just really good smelling. But super, super potent. Very strong nose. Very strong nose on this one. I mixed all these up, so I'm not sure which one is which, but I feel like these have gotten older as I've gone. <laughs> That's how I feel anyway. I don't know if I'm right. It's weird because the first one I smelled, I thought that one was like one of the older ones, 20 or 23. And then I s smelled and tasted the second one. I thought, nope, that one's either the 20 or 23. And then I get to this one and now I'm thinking, nope, this has got to be the 20 or 23. Like, they all have a very prominent oak note. And they're just getting oakier and mustier as we, as, as we get going through these. was like if you had a Hall's cough drop, cherry, mentholeptus, inside of an oak shell. And then the oak shell had to dissolve before you got to the cough drop. It's like time release kind of thing. It has to, has to sit on your tongue for 20 or 23 years. And then you start to taste finishes so good. Man, these are all good. I'm glad I did this tonight. I deserved it. Friggin' deserved it. Fourth one. Good gravy. I am ridiculous. What just happened? Did I drink these in order? In the porter order? Okay, now this one is more ridiculous. Oh man, this smells even better. Now we're back to like sweet cherried oak. Very mouth, this smells mouth watering. It smells thick and viscous just on the nose. Wow, that's really good. That's more like a Luden's cough drop. This was not quite as menthol y and more sweet. Man, that's good. These are all so good. I don't know which one's my favorite. I think this one's my favorite. Could be. I don't know. I'll go back to the other ones. Bring me to Pappy. 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 Say it with me. We love bourbon. Yes, we do. Bring me to Pappy or I'll hit you with my truck. I got my order. Porter's got his order. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Do I own a bottle of Pappy? No. Will I pay secondary prices for them? No. Can I agree that they're really, really good? Yeah, I can. They're really good. They're freaking amazing. In fourth place came Old Rip Van Winkle 12 year. The old lot B. Uh, and I'm guessing that most people would think that's where it, it should fall in this lineup. So I don't look like an idiot. A little bit more ethanol forward than the other ones. Um, they didn't coat the mouth quite as well and the finish wasn't quite as long. Still tremendous, tremendous whiskey. In third place, Pappy Van Winkle 15 year. Pappy 15 came in third place. So this seems like we're climbing the old oak ladder as far as I can as far as I can tell. Both of these were really good. Both of them were really oaky. And both of them were no jokey. These were tremendous, super viscous, super thick, super overwhelmingly awesome bourbons. As soon as they hit the tongue, they make you go, what the hell just happened? Good gravy. 
in second place is Pappy Van Winkle, 20 year. So the winner is 23, 23. So my order actually went in the order of the age. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. This video didn't do much for you, but it did a lot for me. Made me happy. Now I'm gonna go to bed feeling pretty, pretty okay with myself. Tonight's not the night where I'm gonna lay in bed wondering why everything's not all right. Tonight's the night where I lay in bed wondering why, and then I just pass out.